Welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson. And you guys have been asking me almost every video about the lighting on my 210 gallon reef tank. So I think now's a good time to give you my thoughts on lighting and more specifically LED and T5 combo lighting. I think now is the perfect time to take a step back and look at some of the lightings I've used on my tanks over the years. When I set up my 90 gallon tank, I used a metal halide T5 combo light. The light was brilliant from a lighting perspective. I got 20K bulbs in it, I had actinic blue lights on it, and I got a really awesome coloration. And I loved the light from a lighting side, but there were major issues. First, bulb replacements were crazy expensive. The metal halide bulbs were like 50 to 100 bucks a piece. They had to be changed out yearly, plus the T5s had to be changed out yearly. So it was a big expense yearly to change all of those lights, but I can live with that. The bigger issue was the amount of heat it would put into my tank. I had a canopy on the tank and I had metal halides right above it and it was just a big greenhouse effect on top of the tank and it was a bit of a struggle to keep the temperature the way I wanted it. So about four years ago, Bull Reef Supply, maybe three years ago, Bull Reef Supply had a sale on their Giesman Tesla LEDs and they were $500 discounted to $250. So I pulled the trigger. Giesman has a great reputation for producing a high quality light. And when I got them, I did a video on it and I will link that one to this video and I think it still holds true today. The light coming off the lights themselves is pretty good. I'd like it to be brighter, but the controls on the Giesman Tesla are just crap. You can't really set the lights to the color adjustments you want. When you bring the blues up, you're not getting enough par out of the lights, at least not for a big tank like mine. And then I started having problems with the power on and off. I believe it was related to a power short that happened um, when I got a big electrical spike, but I'm hearing from other reefers that are having the same problem with these lights too. So it may be an inherent problem with the lights. So the Giesman Teslas were just kind of meh at $250. They're great, but I'm glad I didn't pay the full $500 price they were originally. So I have some okay LEDs on my tank and the color of the coral was just okay. It wasn't really giving me what I wanted. There was a lot of shadowing in the tank. So I decided to go with a set of T5 lights. So I ran four bulbs originally and I made a mistake because I thought that when I put those lights on that I had put too much light on my tank and it was bleaching out and killing my corals. I later found out this was a bio pellet issue. So I'm now down to two T5s. I put the other T5s on the frag tank downstairs working great. So now I've got two T5s and three LED lights sitting over this tank and it's doing a brilliant job. The T5s are the LET kit, also from Bulk Reef Supply. It's kind of a DIY kit, but it's a nice low profile, screws right to my canopy and it does a great job. They're five foot lights over a six foot tank, not perfect coverage for a six foot tank but it's more than doing the job. Now, the big benefits to adding the ATI Blue Plus bulbs to the Giesman Tesla lights is I got that bluer look that I was looking for. I'm getting a lot more pop with my color and I'm loving that. But the biggest benefit that I'm seeing is I've gotten rid of a lot of the shadowing. As the corals have grown out, their rock structures, what it is, when you have that single point a light source coming down, you get lots of shadows. Well, you have with the T5s, you have this long extended light that's able to better cover that area. So you have a better spread of light, you're getting more light to your corals, and you have less shadowing. So I get better growth, better coloration, and the downside is though, you don't have any real adjustability other than changing bulbs. So if I wanna change the look of the blue plus bulbs to something else, I have to buy new bulbs. And they're about 20 bucks a piece. The other downside to the 
T5 lights is they're gotta be replaced every year. Ah, but they're 20 bucks. It's not that big of a deal, especially when you compare it to the price of upgrading the LEDs. Instead of adding the T5s on, I could have gone the route of buying new LEDs. And if you've priced high-end LEDs, you're kind of looking in that 500 to $1,000 per light light option, and it would be easy to spend $2,500 to light that tank. Now, this LET option was 110 bucks on the Black Friday sale. You throw $40 worth of bulbs at it. For 150 bucks, I was able to completely fix my lighting problems. I have a great look and I'm getting great coral growth. So I can't imagine now after seeing the way T5s complement the LEDs going back to just an LED system. I think if I went out and bought the best Kessel light or the best Ecotec light, I'd still be running my T5 arps to get that fill effect. Now, I do think in the future, we're gonna get LED replacements for these T5s. But as the technology sits right now, the lighting spectrum we're getting out of these T5s is fantastic. We're getting a really nice spread of color where instead of those peaky spikes that you see on LED lights, you get the bigger curves. It's a great lighting option. So after a year and a half of running these lights, I'm getting great coloration, I've got plenty of par, and I'm really getting what I want out of my lighting system. And I was able to save my old lights, my Giesmans, without having to upgrade, which saved me a ton of money. Now, going forward, as the technology sits today, if my Giesmans went down, I'd have a hard time not just ordering more T5s for my tank. Honestly, as good as these T5s are, I'd be hard pressed not to just save the money, put more T5s on the tank, have a T5 only tank and have great growth, a beautiful look, and let's face it, it'd be way cheaper. So I'd love to hear in the comments column what your preferred lighting system is. T5s, metal halides, LEDs, combo deals, Put down what you like the most. Come on, old man, stop talking about metal halides, T5s, and vinyl records. LEDs are the way to go. Thanks for watching this episode of My Home Reefers. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.